Okay guys, I'm back. I uh, was up the left and was really surprised to come across this magazine. Uh, Computer and Video Games magazine, uh, CMVG, from none other than January 1998. Um, I was, well, I was really surprised to come across this, I can tell you. Um, I never used to buy magazines when I was younger, and I'm assuming, um, coming across this, um, that I might have bought the odd one or two, um, but the reason why I don't even remember buying this is because, it, you know, I'm assuming I bought the odd one or two, I mean, I definitely bought this. Um, the reason why I'm assuming that is that, um, if I did buy any magazines, it would have been literally once in a blue moon. I mean, this was only £1.50, uh, which is a far cry from how much these magazines cost nowadays, because they're near enough for fiver now, aren't they? So, But yeah, even though this was £1.50, um, I would have only bought, you know, the Ida magazine once in a blue moon. I didn't have the money to go, you know, spending money every, every week, couple of weeks or a month on a video on a video games magazine I just didn't do that I'd rather put put my money and I did put my money to towards um, going down to the uh, swap shop and um, paying to swap games or buying pre-owned games because they didn't sell brand new games there um, in fact they didn't sell brand new games at any of the places I went to when I was younger not the market stores or the swap shop and the only time I ever got brand new games was at Christmas or birthdays so I probably bought the odd one and I was really surprised to find this in the loft and I almost thought about chucking it away but then I thought no because even though it, it is quite dusty I thought you know I'd like to keep it because there is some games in there that I'm you know some articles that I'd like to read to get around to where uh, read in <laughs> and I was really surprised again that it was computer and video games magazine because I only learned about computer computer and video games magazine when I got into um, retro gaming but obviously I knew about it from when I was younger because I bought this so it's just one of those things where I didn't it didn't it didn't really have any significance or lasting I didn't have any lasting memory of it because I, I bought so few or virtually virtually none but anyway let's start to uh, open this up so you got Tomb Raider 2 I remember playing that Quite a good game actually, I'd like to play that again. And then the other thing is, uh, even though I had a PlayStation, I wasn't really... Uh, I can't say I was blown away by it, I enjoyed a lot of games on it, but... Yeah, probably would have been better with, I've said this before, would have been better with a uh, N64 or um, Sega Saturn, but everyone, was, everyone wanted a PlayStation at, at the uh, time. There's a uh, Game Boy, some of the other um, uh, 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 previous issues, some of the uh, writers and editors, whatever. Nintendo's Monster Invasion for 98. Oh, Pokemon. Um, yeah, don't like Pokemon, enough said there. Okay, so this is the Game Boy to N64 there. Um, hmm. can't say much about that because I've never used one but I did have the converter for the um, what is it the uh, Sega oh, Game Gear the, I had the Master System uh, converter which it made the thing so bulky that you couldn't <laughs> it, it just wasn't portable anyway and it used a lot of batteries. Does anyone remember these? The um, pocket monsters, or uh, what did they used to call them? Pikachu's? P Pikachu's? No, they didn't use them Pikachu's, did, did they? What was they called? I know they're called pocket monsters, but that was called something else. I remember when everyone had had these. I mean, they, that was a real craze. It was these. Um, in the later 90s, it was these, then it went on to those 
uh, yo-yos, the extreme yo-yo things. I think that was a few other crazes. Um, oh, new Super Console from the X Jaguar team, which probably, well, we know probably didn't, well, there's no probably about it, it didn't come out, did it? So I don't know what that's on about. Now, there's an interesting controller. No, I really don't like the N64 controller. Um, I just don't like it. And the, the uh, analog stick, it's too. It just when I had one, it felt too uh, weak and how can I put it? it? Felt too weak and wimpy. Um, it was too. It just didn't have any tactile feel to it. And I didn't like the layout of it either. I'd I'd pretty much you know like to get my hands on one of those. I mean. It, I mean, I'd like an N64 again, but I know I'll never get one, but, yeah. That looks like a better controller to me. But I don't know about that um, analog stick. It still looks a bit wimpy. And does anyone remember no those? The Sony Walkman. Or Discman. Okay, the Sony Discman. Sony Online Games. <laughs> don't remember anything like that. What's going on? website there. Virtually no one had the internet back in 1998. At least I never, I didn't know of anyone that had, had uh, the internet. Okay so this is on the uh, cover, it's Resident Evil 2. I've seen, you know, a lot of screenshots on this game but I've never actually played it. I played the first Resident Evil back in the day and I really didn't like it. However I played it on the uh, Sake Saturn and um, I think it was a few years ago and just absolutely loved it. So it just goes to show that you know what you might not have liked back in the day. It's worth going back to because you might like, you know, might like it now. You might like certain games, genres now that you didn't want to like. I really want this uh, Resident Evil 2 as well on the uh, Dreamcast. It's one of the few games I would have to get for the for that system. And I've really pretty much got most of the games for that system that I want. It's quite a big feature there on that game. I've heard it's a really good game as well. So here we have GoMan64. It's meant to be a pretty decent uh, title for this uh, system, but I can't say it looks like anything I would want to play. Gran Turismo. To be honest, I really like Gran Turismo, and even back in the day, I wasn't really into racing games. But you know, it's it's one of those uh, racing games that everyone had. Everyone had like V Rally, Ridge Racer, Gran Turismo. I liked all three of those games. Probably the one I liked the most out of all those games was probably V Rally. Also, liked that one of the Formula One games that was on the PlayStation as well. I was really impressed with the graphics and just just how well made it was. This is one of the reasons why I want to keep this. It's got a Panzer Dragoon uh, feature, but it's only small. One of the flagship titles for the, say, for the Saturn returns for a third incarnation. This version, however, is something completely different. I've actually completed this uh, game, and I have to say it is one of the best games on the system. But they could have done. They could have. They could have gave it a bigger spread than that. Jersey Devil. Never heard of this. Of course, it's for the old uh, PlayStation. It doesn't look that bad, actually. Better the Devil. Death Trap Dungeon. Okay, this is for the PlayStation and PC. Again, never heard of this one. Myth. It's for the uh, PC. I've heard of this. Wasn't this one by Peter Molyneux? No, maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe that. Everybody's golf. I don't like golf. Skip that. Cool borders. 
Um, I do remember playing Cool Borders back in the day. I think there was a point where on the PlayStation it was all about the snowboarding games. But as soon as so uh, Tony Hawk's uh, skateboarding came along, um, yeah, that was it for snowboarding games. They went right out the window. It was all about skateboarding. And then you had all these other like clones coming out, um, all these other skateboarding games that clearly wasn't as good as uh, Tony Hawk's focus. There you go. And then you had stuff like BMX games coming out, so all trying to like copy uh, the Orcs the way they did it. And here's uh, Steep Slope Sliders. Uh, there's quite a few uh, snowboarding games for the uh, Sega Saturn, but this is clearly the best. It's a really, really good game. And there you've got, I think it's the letters page. Skip that. Courier Crisis. Mm, I'm sure that's on the um, uh, Sega Saturn. <laughs> You'd never get away with that now. But yeah, you just wouldn't. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Here's those uh, two different uh, controllers. I much prefer that. £99 for a Saturn. Hmm. Okay, here you've got some charts. I think it's a bit... Can it? I don't know whether this will uh, focus. Uh, let's have a look. The hottest gaming gossip from around the world. So I suppose this is kind of like a little newspaper gossip story. What's it? To be honest, I've only had a quick flick through this uh, mag. So now oh, this is interesting. Re this is 1998, and it says retro computer cabin. And here you got things like the ZX81. VCS, VIC-20, uh, Spectrum, BBCB, uh, C64, Vectrex, so Amstrad, CPC, so even back in the day these were considered uh, retro. And here's an interesting one, the NES and the uh, Master System in here there was being called retro back in 1998 so this is just a tips page um, free play classified melting pot um, drawings that people have sent in Mortal Kombat 4 guide quite a big guide there and I apologise for the moving camera, but I think I've, I've done one of these um, magazine vids before and this is really the only way to, to do it really. Right for free play. Hmm. Namco Winter Olympics 1998. Never heard of it. I really like the... Um, what's that game for the uh, Saturn? It's... Um, is it Winter Olympics? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. There's a Winter Athletics game on the uh, Saturn. It's really good. Let's get some of this. Doesn't look that bad actually. You know. Ultimate Online. Now again, I can't think of anyone back in 1998 that I knew that really had um, the internet. I mean, I remember going to the library and you could go on there for like a minute <laughs> and if you wanted to look something up, you had to, it was, you, you uh, the librarian would put you on Ask uh, Jeeves, if anyone remembers that, and you had to know the specific uh, question 
you wanted to ask and when you ask on it you have to you have to explain what you wanted to use it for uh you know what lesson um well actually you could only use it if you was in a lesson in the library and you have to have a specific question a specific thing you wanted to look for you could only be on there for like a minute or so that's it because it just costs loads you know mischief makers for the n64 never heard of this one focus is there any problem with doing these kind of vids? Let's get in there. Well, I suppose the, to be honest, I don't know how well that'll come up, but the screenshots are kind of out of focus. You know, they aren't the best quality. I suppose, I don't know how they did it back in the day, but I guess they would have put a camera up to the uh, TV screen. And Duke Nukem. Ooh, look at that for a rating, 2 out of 5. That's the uh, PlayStation version. Uh, Duke Nukem 64. And it got 4 out of 5. I bet they don't do the Saturn one, no. The Saturn version of Duke Nukem is meant to be really good. Well, it is really good because I played it. So, Crash 2. Really like the Crash games. Played the first one a lot. I'm sure I played the second. Um, yeah, just really good games. They shouldn't have took it multi format. They should have kept it uh, PlayStation uh, exclusive. Actual soccer. Well, don't like football really. So, although I did use to play FIFA Night Five a lot back on the. I don't know whether it was the. Yeah, it was a SNES. I think I mentioned this recently. There's this uh, trick in it where if you, um, if say here, if you came uh, diagonal towards the goal and uh, would do a uh, shot with the ball towards the goal, guaranteed every single time you'd score. It was one of those kind of flaws in the code. It was. I remember playing a mate and just scoring every single time and then getting worked up about it. But I played that game so much that, you know, I just I just found it out by myself. Extreme G. I think I played this, you know, I don't think I fought much of it. Sega Touring Car Championship. Which was hyped up so much to be the next um, Sega Rally game. And when it came out, it just disappointed everyone. Because the controls were completely naff. And that's why here it gets 2 out of 5. I know some people really like it, but it's one of those games that can give you a headache. And yeah, the controls are really, really bad. The Curse of Monkey Island. I can't really say much about this one. I haven't played it. Still need to play um, Monkey Island 2. Blade Runner. I've heard a lot about this game. And I really, really, really want to get it. It's meant to be really, really good. And it got, well, it only got 3 out of 5 there. So I suppose that's quite good. So, let's have a look. Mage, only got 3 out of 5. Command and Conquer. 4 out of 5. Yeah, that's one that everyone kept going on about back in the day. I personally never thought much about it. Critical Depth, never heard of it. 2 out of 5. Um, Men in Black, 4 out of 5. What we got here? Monopoly Star Wars. Yeah. 2 out of 5. Nightmare Creatures, <laughs> 1 out of 5. I've got Nightmare Creatures 2 on the uh, Dreamcast. It, it, I think it's one of those like it or lump it kind of games. Formula Carts. 3 out of 5. And Peak Performance 2 out of 5. Here we've got all the advertisements. Tomb Raider 2 Player's Guide. That'll 
come in handy if I ever get around to playing that game. And goes on. Sonic R, Supersonic Race Guide. Again, this is one of those games where you either like it or you, you just don't. Uh, I, I can't get along with it, it's just the controls really, it just uh, it doesn't feel right. It's not a bad game, it's just, like I said, you just either like it or you don't. Diddy Kong Racing Guide, never played this game. I suppose it's a lot of fun though. What magazine is this? Sported. Sported magazine. Oh god. SNK Hyperdrive Engage. I have no idea what that's about really. Oh, it's the uh, arcade. Jammer uh, Hot Arcade Games, 98. Sega Watsuki. I'm sure I played that in the arcades or somewhat similar. Ooh, nice little that. I didn't know that this was in there. Nice little advertisement for Sega Saturn magazine. Oh god, not Commandos. I flipping hate that game. And who remembers this advertisement for the Twix? So there you go guys. Computer and Video Games Magazine from January 1998.